The term generative AI has emerged seemingly out of nowhere in recent months, with a notable surge in interest according to Google Trends even within the past year. The spike in curiosity can be attributed to the introduction of generative models such as DALI 2, BART, and ChatGPT. However, what does generative AI entail? As a part of our introductory series on generative AI, this video will provide a comprehensive overview of a subject starting from the basics. The explanation will cater to all levels of familiarity, ensuring that viewers gain a better understanding of how this technology operates and its growing integration to our daily lives. Generative AI is, after all, a tool that is based on artificial intelligence. A professional who elites seeks to switch careers with AI by learning from the experts. Then try giving a short simply learned postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. The link in the description box should navigate to the home page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. Take action, upskill and get ahead. What is Generative AI? Generative AI is a form of artificial intelligence that possesses the capability of to generate a wide range of content including text, visual, audio and synthetic data. The recent excitement surrounding generative AI stems from the user-friendly interfaces that allow users to effortlessly create high-quality text, graphics, and video within a second. Now moving forward, let's see how does generative AI work. Generative AI begins a prompt which can take form of text, image, video, design, audio, musical notes, or any input that AI system can process. Various AI algorithms that generate new content in response to the given prompt. This content can range from essay and problem solution to realistic created using images or audio of a person. In the early stages of generative AI utilizing the technology involved submitting data through an API or a complex process. Developers need to acquaint themselves with a specialized tool and writing application using programming language like Python. Some of the recent and fully operational generative AIs are Google Bart, DALE, OpenAI ChatGPT, Microsoft Bing and many more. So now let's discuss ChatGPT, DALE and BART which are the most popular generative AI interfaces. So first is DALE 2 which was developed using OpenAI GPT implementation in 2021. Exemplify a multi-model AI application. It has been trained on a vast data set of images and their corresponding textual description. DALE is capable of establishing connection between various media forms such as vision, text, audio. It specifically links the meaning of words to visual elements. OpenAI introduced an enhanced version called DALE 2 in 2022, which empowers users to generate imagery in multiple styles based on their prompts. And the next one is ChatGPT. In November 2022, ChatGPT, an AI-powered chatbot built on OpenAI GPT 3.5 implementation, gained immense popularity worldwide. OpenAI enabled users to interact with and fine-tune the chatbot's text response through a chat interface with interactive feedback. Unlike earlier version of GPT that was solely accessible via an API, ChatGPT brought a more interactive experience. On March 14, 2023, OpenAI released GPT-4. ChatGPT integrates the conversational history with a user making a genuine dialogue. Microsoft, impressed by the success of new ChatGPT interface, announced a substantial investment in OpenAI and integrated a version of GPT into its Bing search engine. And the next one is BARD, Google BARD. Google was also an earlier fortuner in advancing transformer AI techniques for language processing, protein analysis, and other content types. It made some of these models open source for researchers, but were not made available through a public interface. In response to Microsoft integration of GPT into Bing, Google hurriedly launched a public-facing chatbot named Google Bart. Bart's debut was met by an error when the language model incorrectly claimed that the Webb telescope was the first to discover a planet in a foreign solar system. As a consequence, Google's stock price suffered a significant decline. Meanwhile, Microsoft implementation of ChatGPT and GPT-powered system also faced criticism for producing inaccurate results and displaying erratic behavior in their early irritation. So, moving forward, let's see what are the use cases of generative AI. Generative AI has broad applicability and can be employed across a wide range of use cases to generate diverse form of content. Recent advancements like GPT have made this technology more accessible and customizable for various applications. Some notable use cases for generative AI are as follows. Chatbot implementation 
Generative AI can be utilized to develop chatbots for customer service and technical support, enhancing interaction with users and providing efficient assistance. The second one is language dubbing enhancement. In the realm, in the realm of movies and educational content, generative AI can contribute to improving dubbing in different languages, ensuring accurate and high quality translation. And the third one is content writing. Generative AI can assist in writing email responses dating profiles, resumes, and term papers offering valuable support and generating customized content tailored to specific requirement. And the fourth one is art generation. Leveraging generative AI artists can create photorealistic artwork in various styles, enabling the exploration of new artistic expression and enhancing creativity. The fifth one is product demonstration videos. Generative AI can enhance to enhance product demonstration video, making them more engaging, visually appealing, and effective in showcasing product features and benefits. So generative AI versatility allows it to employ it in many other applications, making it a valuable tool for content creation and enhancing user experience across diverse domains. So after seeing use cases of generative AI, let's see what are the benefits of generative AI. So generative AI offers extensive application across various business domains, simplifying the integration and comprehension of existing content while also enabling the automated creation of a new content. Developers are actively exploring ways to leverage generative AI in order to enhance the optimized existing workflows and even to reshape workflows entirely to harness the potential of technology fully. Implementing generative AI can bring numerous benefits including automated content creation. Generative AI can automate the manual process of writing content, saving time and effort by generating text or other form of content. The next one is efficient email response. Responding to emails can be made more efficient with generative AI, reducing the effort required and improving response time. And the third one is enhanced technical support. Generative AI can improve responses to specific technical queries, providing accurate and helpful information to users or customers. And the fourth one is realistic person generation. By leveraging generative AI, it becomes possible to create realistic representation of people, enabling applications like virtual characters or avatars. And the fifth one is coherent information summarization. Generative AI can summarize complex information into a coherent narrative, distilling key points and making it easier to understand and communicate complex concepts. The implementation of generative AI offers a range of potential benefits, seemingly process and enhancing content creation in various areas of business operation. So after seeing advantages of generative AI, let's move forward and see what are the limitations of generative AI. Early implementation of generative AI serve as vivid examples highlighting the numerous limitations associated with this technology. Several challenges arise from the specific approaches employed to implement various use cases. For instance, while a summary of a complex topic may more reader-friendly than explanation incorporating multiple supporting sources, the ease of readability comes at the expense of transparent identifying the information sources. So the first one is, when implementing or utilizing a generative AI application, it is important to consider the following limitation. I repeat, the first one is lack of source identification. Generative AI does not always provide clear identification of content source making it difficult to trace and verify origin of the information. The second one is assessment of bias. Assessing the bias of original sources used generative AI can be challenging, as it may be difficult to determine the underlying perspective or agenda of the data utilized in the training process. The third one is difficulty in identifying inaccurate information. Generative AI can generate realistic content, making identifying inaccuracy or falsehoods within the generated output harder. And the fourth one is adaptability to a new circumstances. Understanding how to fine tune generative AI for a new circumstances or specific context can be complex, requiring careful consideration and expertise to achieve desired result. And the fifth one is glossing over bias, prejudice and hatred. Generative AI results may amplify or perpetuate biases prejudices or hateful content present in the training data, requiring vigilant scrutiny to prevent such issues. So awareness of these limitations is crucial when implementing or utilizing generative AI as it helps users and developers critically evaluate and mitigate potential risks and challenges associated with the technology. So future of generative AI. Furthermore, advances in AI development platforms will contribute to the accelerated progress of research and development in the realm of generative AI. 
the development will encompass various domains such as text, images, videos, 3D contact, drugs, supply chains, logistic and business processes. While the current standalone tools are impressive, the true transformative impact generative AI will realize while these capabilities are seemingly integrated into, I repeat, into the existing tools with regular use. So with this, we have come to end of this video. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friend. Also, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Our team will get back to you as soon as possible. And courses covered in this video link will be provided in the description box. Do check them out. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.